Once, there was a dense forest. Many animals used to live in that forest. In that forest lived a small rabbit named Agu. He was very mischievous. The whole day he used to roam here and there in the forest. Agu never obeyed anyone. One day Agu heard the animals of the forest talking among themselves. They were talking about the waterfall in the forest. The deer was telling everyone that there is a huge rock near waterfall and whosoever goes near to it, get disappears. Then the other animals said that they have also heard about some cave near the waterfall. Whoever has gone to that cave till date has never come back. Don't know if it is all true or a story. But if life is dear to you, then it is better not to go there. There are many waterfalls in such a big forest. What is the need to go there? Agu was secretly listening to them. He went and told this to his friend Kaku Monkey. Kaku got scared after hearing this. Kaku told Agu that both of us would never go there. As soon as Kaku left, Agu went towards the same waterfall. The waterfall was huge. He had never seen such a big waterfall. Then he went towards the waterfall and saw a cave there. Without any fear, Agu entered the cave. It was very dark in the cave. He went on walking in the cave. After walking for a long time he saw a faint light. Seeing the light, Agu became very happy and started shouting with joy. Then a big rock shook and he got scared. As soon as the rock started moving, Agu got very scared. He was so scared that he did not have the courage to run away. He started shouting loudly and said, leave me. I will never come to this cave again. Then a voice came from the rock. Who has come to meet me after so many years? Agu replied, my name is Agu. I live in this forest. When I heard about this cave, I could not resist and came here. I'm sorry. Please let me go from here. I don't want to die. When that rock turned completely, Agu realized that it was not a rock, it was a big turtle. The tortoise said to Agu, I am very happy to see you. My name is Janak. I am living in this cave for many years. Today after many years someone has come to this cave. Don't be afraid, I won't kill you. I eat grass or green leaves. You cannot satisfy my hunger then what will I get by killing you? Earlier there used to be a lot of grass in this cave, so I came to live in this cave. But now there is no grass in it for a long time. Can you bring me something to eat from somewhere? I haven't eaten anything for many years. Agu heaved a sigh of relief after listening to Janak's words. Agu said that I was scared. Outside everyone is saying that whoever comes to this cave dies. Janak said then why did you come here? Aren't you scared? Agu said that I wanted to see what is there that everyone is afraid of. Janik said to Agu that you bring me some grass from outside and I will satisfy my hunger by eating it. Agu said that it will take me a long time to bring the grass. This cave is very big. It took me half a day to reach here. Now if I go out again, it will take a long time to come back. You also walk outside with me, there you eat grass and I will go back to my house from there. Janak then told Agu that earlier there were two ways to enter this cave, one big and other small. The big entrance has been closed from many years and the entrance through which you have come must be the small one, I cannot go out of it. If you will bring me some grass, I will be able to satisfy my hunger. Agu accepted Janak's advice and went away telling Janak that I will definitely bring grass for you tomorrow. When Agu came out of the cave, it was night, so he went straight to his hole and fell asleep. Agu got up very early in the morning and took grass from his burrow and then went to the cave to feed Janak. Agu used to meet Kaku every day. But when Kaku did not meet Agu for so long, Kaku got scared. He searched for Agu in the whole forest. But he was not found anywhere. Nor had anyone seen him. Slowly word spread that Agu was missing. All the animals were asking Kaku about Agu. 
Then Kaku told that Agu had met him yesterday afternoon and was telling about the rock at the waterfall. Just then everyone understood that Agu must have gone there. Everyone started worrying a lot about Agu because no one exactly knew the secret of waterfall. Then everyone made a suggestion to talk to Raja Elephant. The Raja was the oldest animal in the forest. That's why everyone thought that maybe the Raja knew something about this. Everyone went to meet the Raja. Kaku told the whole thing to the Raja. Raja said that even my mother never let me go there. She told me that there is some dangerous animal in the cave. Whenever someone went to the cave, he first asks them to bring some food for himself and when they take food to him, he kills them. If Agu has gone into the cave, he will definitely come out to get food. We must go to the waterfall and wait for him. When Agu comes out, we will stop him from going back. Meanwhile Agu again went in the cave again. Janak was very happy to see Agu. He told Agu that I had absolutely no hope that you would come back. Agu gave all the grass to Janak and asked Janak that everyone outside is very much afraid of the cave. Even no one comes to this waterfall. Everyone talks outside that whoever comes here dies. Janak was very sad and told Agu that I have been in this cave from last 60 years. I can't go out since the main entrance to the cave is closed. For the first few years, there used to be grass in the cave. I used to eat that grass. But gradually the grass stopped growing in the cave. But the animals living in the forest knew that I was trapped here. They used to give me food in the cave. A few years back a crocodile had come to this waterfall. He used to hide here. Whenever any animal comes to give me food, he used to kill that animal and eat them. No one knew about him being here. Everyone thinks that I kill the one who brings food. But a few years ago that crocodile died. I am trapped in this cave. Looks like I will have to die in this cave. Seeing Janak sad, Agu said don't worry. I will go out and tell all the animals in the forest about you. And everyone together will try to get you out of here. Then you will be with all of us. Outside the cave, everyone was waiting for him. Agu told everyone about Janak being trapped in the cave. We should think of a way to bring him out. Raja said that we all need to help him. Together they opened the big way to the cave. Then Agu went inside and brought Janak out. Janak was very happy to come out. He started living in the forest along with all the animals. 